In this video, we're going to continue our examination of using synthetic division to divide a polynomial by a binomial. But what you may notice in this example is we are now divided by a binomial that does not have a leading coefficient of 1. And we've learned in all of our previous examples that the divisor must have a leading coefficient of 1 in order to do synthetic division. So we have to, in some way, create our own leading coefficient of 1. And so we have to ask ourselves, how do we change 2x into just x? And that would be by dividing by 2. And so what you're going to do is divide every term in both the binomial and the polynomial by 2 to keep it all balanced. So I'm not going to do synthetic division with this. I'm going to really do synthetic division with 2x to the fourth minus 5 halves x squared plus x plus 2. And we're really dividing by x minus 1 half. So here's how I'm going to do my synthetic division. I look, I have fourth power, second power. I see right away I have a gap. I am missing an x cubed. So I'm going to have to insert the x cubed into synthetic division. So I'm going to write down my coefficients. I have 2, the 0 for the x cubed that I need to insert, the negative 5 halves, the 1, and the 2. Leave my row, put my box for the remainder. And I'm going to do synthetic division with the opposite of what I see. And I see x minus 1 half, so my r value is a positive 1 half. And so that's going to go in my little corner box here. And now we just do synthetic division as usual. We drop down the first term. And then multiply 1 half times 2 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 half times 1 is 1 half. So you have negative 5 halves plus 1 half. So that's negative 4 halves. And negative 4 halves divided by 2 is negative 2. Multiply 1 half times negative 2, you get negative 1. Negative 1 and 1 gives you 0. 1 half of 0 is 0. And so my remainder is 2. So I have, for my answer, I have one, two, three, four terms. Your power is one less than that. So it's 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x. You know, we don't insert the plus 0, but I do have to insert my remainder. That's a positive 2. Now, again, what did I really divide by? I divided by x minus 1 half. And that represents our answer. Now, you can also write your answer a different way. And we're going to examine that because we've learned in previous lessons that you know, we don't like to have fractions inside of a fraction. Fraction is the numerator, fraction is the denominator. And so you'll see that you can actually change and manipulate this remainder. You know, how do you get rid of a fraction of 1 half? And what you would do is you'd multiply by 2. But if you multiply the bottom of a fraction by 2, you're going to have to multiply the top by 2 as well. Because then, 2 over 2, you're really multiplying by 1, and you're not changing the value. And so the top becomes 4, and the bottom becomes 2x minus 1. And so you'll see as well, because in mathematics, we don't like to have fractions in our numerators or denominators in our final answer, that you can write this as 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 4 over 2x minus 1. And that way we do not have a fraction in 
the denominator. So let's look at another example along these lines. We have 2x cubed minus x squared plus 5x minus 12 is being divided by the binomial 2x minus 3. So again, I see I do not have a leading coefficient of 1. So I'm going to have to create it by dividing everything in the binomial by 2 and everything in the polynomial by 2. And that's going to give me x cubed minus 1 half x squared plus 5 halves x minus 6 divided by x minus 3 halves. So I can set up my synthetic division. I see I have cubed, squared, first power, constant. So all of my exponents are accounted for. So I'm just going to write down my coefficients of 1 of negative 1 half of positive 5 halves and negative 6. I'm going to leave my space, put my remainder box, and what am I going to divide by? The opposite of what I see, so x minus 3 halves, I'm going to divide by a positive 3 halves with my synthetic division. We drop down the first term. 3 halves times 1 is 3 halves. Negative 1 half plus 3 halves is 2 halves, which is 1. So 1 times 3 halves again is 3 halves. Add 5 halves plus 3 halves. 5 plus 3 is 8. So 8 halves is 4. When you multiply 4 times 3 halves, 4 times 1 and a half, you're going to get 6. And negative 6 and 6 is 0. So my remainder is 0, which means I do not have to take it in consideration in my final answer. So let's write down what our answer is. We have three terms outside the remainder box. So one less than that is my degree. So x squared plus x plus 4. And since I do not have a remainder, I do not have to take it into consideration. And this is my final answer, x squared plus x plus 4. So even though our binomial in both of these examples did not have a leading coefficient of 1, we can still use synthetic division by creating, by manipulating the problem so it does have a leading coefficient of 1. The only concern with that comes with writing your final answer. We don't like to have fractions in the denominator or in a numerator. And so what we do is we have to simplify it down using this process each time to get the end result.